Hello, cart builders. Um, some of you might have started seeing my post that I did earlier today of this little uh, cart spike, sand spike that I put together quickly. Um, it's just a little piece of uh, angled aluminum that was uh, left over from when I was doing my uh, rod racks on the ladder rack in the pickup. Um, but anyway, um, as you can see, it would fit down between the uh, the stop and the outside edge of the rod holder here. This is a standard Fish and Mate Senior. Um, so it had room to fit down and then you can see it going down to the ground here. Um, but that's what had me start to realize, um, well, wait a minute, uh, when I'm in the parking lots, I've had plenty of challenge of uneven surfaces or slants or parking slightly uphill or downhill, whatever. And the cart, again, starts its mind of its own and starts wanting to reel, wheel away from it, uh, from me uh, while I'm still up in the bed pulling the rods out or whatever. Um, but anyway, I've chased my cart in the parking lot a couple times too, and I just can't stand that. Uh, I certainly love how smooth the wheels roll, but uh, you kind of want your cart to behave, right? So anyway... Um, I thought about this and I was like, you know what? I can't pound this into cement or blacktop or packed gravel or hard sand that's in a parking lot. Um, and maybe just a little bit of rubbing friction might do the trick, but it was like, nah, I don't like that. So uh, quickly here, I got away. I pulled my dry box out um, over here. I'm putting uh, some Gorilla Glue on some uh, sponge foam feet that I've cut out. And I'm just gluing them down right now. The weight of the box is holding the feet in place. This is to give me a little bit of clearance underneath the box. Um, it makes it a little easier uh, to hose off the cart. When I'm done at the end of the day, I can get the hose under there. And uh, every once in a while, I've had a little bit of sand under the box. Um, but the, the real reason here is for this new bracket that I've come up with. So, on, so I've taken a piece of flat stock aluminum. Uh, pop riveted at this end and I just took advantage of the axle nuts on the other end here with a piece of aluminum a couple spacers uh, you know just uh, flat washers under there so I had a little bit of clearance here um, but what I've done is uh, screwed on a little piece of PEX um, into the into the plastic there and then I've put some foam rubber uh, filling up the holes at each end of the PEX and that's kind of like uh, little rubber bumpers because what I'm doing now, um, so let me pull out my garage foam here because uh, this cart likes to roll to the garage door when it's left unattended. Um, so when I've, and I've marked it. So I've marked the center basically of each one of these cavities in the hub. And so now all I have to do is push this out with a little handle that I built. And now the cart is only gonna roll from one end of the hub to the other end of the hub. And if I made this PEX longer, I could even reduce the amount of turn, um, but this is fine. Um, so now very easily, this just slides back and forth. There's no uh, grease or whatever, it's just friction. Um, I can make it a little, little more friction related if I tie this down a little, tap it down a little harder. But anyway, I've got this out, and that way I can roll, roll along, and in the parking lots or wherever else I'm at, uh, when I come to a stop and I want to leave my cart where I know it's going to be, uh, I just line up to one of these little red marks that I did with a sharpie, and I can just push this up, and now the cart's only going to roll a couple inches in each direction here, um, and then the aluminum stock stops it. So. Uh, so this is uh, version 2.0 of getting my cart to behave in the wind and the sand and the slants. Uh, and uh, I have plenty of clearance there for the hub to go around. I'm not I'm missing it by a good half inch in there um, or more. But anyway, I just thought I'd share this little, little idea. Um, with the dry box sitting up before the dry box was putting a little weight on here. So it just gave me a little extra oomph that I had to use to, to push this in and out. So now with it up on rubber feet, there's nothing, no weight on any of this. So it's gonna slide in and out. I can do it with one finger. 
Um, so I think that'll be sandproof and and uh, tarnish proof and, and whatnot. I think there's enough clearance. I've got some washers under here also, so nothing is locked hard down. I'm just keeping it flat. Um, so uh, anyway, uh, leave some comments. Let me know what you think. And if I've got too much time on my hands, let me know that too. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, Merry Christmas if I don't talk to any of you sooner. Uh, we're Sunday afternoon here. I'll see ya.